going on guys so today we are checking out this ash vacuum and i've got a nice dirty <laughs> fireplace over there ready to test this thing out so let me pull everything out of the box show you what you get and then i'll show you how it works so opening up the box we have our standard these are kind of the suction tubes that you put on the end of the hose we got a couple of these here different links so we can kind of uh, add length to them if you need to. This is going to be, you can also use this for a regular vacuum. It also has a blow function. It has a reverse mode, so you can actually use it as a blower. This would be great for a shop vac, uh, for cleaning your car, other things like that as well. Um, pull the top out here. So as you can see, it's got a, a nice top, nice long cord with a handle. You get the filter with your on-off switch here. Um, you can just see this is going to sit right on top of the vacuum cleaner there. Let's continue opening this up here and see what we have. Now, because this is an ash vacuum, uh, it does have a lot of filtration right because you want to make sure that that ash doesn't make back into the into the air that's being circulated um, into the room um, as you can see here it's basically a nice metal fully metal uh, bucket so it's like a metal bucket like you put your ashes in um, this is going to suck it right into there you can see it's got this filtration system here as well where it's going to catch all of the the extra stuff and make sure that the dust doesn't come through inside you have a hose that's got a metal lining to it so it's actually metal lined inside of a plastic tube. That is to protect just in case there's any hot embers or anything like that. It's not gonna melt, it's not gonna catch on fire. Um, so it's a fully metal lined um, suction tube, which is great. Um, inside here, we got our little casters that we'll put on the bottom here in just a minute. Um, we have the instruction manual here. We have that suction head, which is gonna be great for, for doing couches and other things like that. Um, and then we have inside here, we've got um, something else. We'll take a look and figure out what that is here. And then we have as, uh, some other little uh, nozzle tips um, with a little brush, um, as well as kind of that angled suction for you to get inside there. And basically, you just kind of rotate this. It looks like, let's see, um, looks like you should be able to switch this around. It says to rotate. Uh, we'll figure that out as well. I think it just rotates back into place. Yeah, it rotates into place and it gives you that brush suction goes back there. So really, really convenient little piece there as well. So let me get this thing put together and then I'll show you uh, how it works. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you get most of the big chunks out, right? So you're going to do a lot of the scooping. You're going to get all the big things out of there. So anything that wouldn't fit into the tube, you want to make sure that that's scooped up. Um, and I would say if you can, I would scoop up the majority of the ashes that you have. Like all of this ash is not gonna fit into that, to that vacuum. So I wanna get most of this pretty clean and then I'll use the ash vacuum uh, for, the, for the final cleanup to really get this thing kind of spick and span. Um, one thing I do wanna mention as well, let me take my camera over here, is that I was wondering what that little thing that was in the tube was. And that is actually an aluminum uh, uh, suction tube end, end, end. So that makes this non-flammable or plastic. These are all plastic. These ones are all plastic. All these attachments are plastic. This is designed to be doing the ash just in case there's a hot piece of ash down in there. Um, it's not going to melt this plastic. And then that leads directly into the metal coated tube as we looked at there before. So uh, pretty cool addition as well. Again, really just focusing on safety. See, I've got it mostly cleaned out, but there is still quite a bit here. I have, an, I have a, a log starter, which is right there that makes it really hard to get uh, clean around it. It takes me a lot of extra time, um, as well as the, the mess that kind of got made here. And then this thing is also covered in junk. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up um, and let me show you guys exactly uh, the suction power and the ability that this little mic, this little, uh, this little vacuum cleaner has, because it's pretty legit. So there you guys have it. I mean, this now, if you guys saw it in the beginning, uh, was crazy dirty. Um, it is so clean in here now. I mean, it is like, it's all the way down to the brick bottom. Uh, looks really clean. The beauty of it is that if there were any hot ashes, which there probably were that I was picking out of here, they're good to go in this canister. Um, it's fully metal, not gonna catch on fire. So ultimate safety, great little addition to, um, to your fireplace. If you guys use to fireplaces or wood stoves, this thing is absolutely legit. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And if you're looking for a ash vacuum cleaner, you should definitely consider checking this one out. This thing is no joke, but guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.